The ongoing investigation into Gabby Petito's death hits close to home for families who are still missing loved ones. National media coverage and tips were a huge help, and some are now asking why the same kind of attention is not being given to missing people of color. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner has this. The search for Gabby Petito was fueled by social media sleuths captivated by her and her boyfriend's cross country travel posts on Instagram and YouTube. In her hometown of Blue Point, Long Island, supporters believe it pushed the investigation forward. Thank God Gabby had a 50,000 platform um, community that she contributed to. It's the kind of national coverage that the father of 24 year old David Robinson hopes for. He was last seen leaving his job in Buckeye, Arizona in June. His vehicle was found crashed in a desert. Email and texting, email and reaching out to whoever. And 25 year old Illinois grad student Jelani Day was reported missing in August, last seen on surveillance video entering a retail store. Neither were covered in national headlines. The decision making happens also in a context of who's making those decisions. And if that newsroom doesn't represent the community it's covering, then those decisions are going to look different. This isn't to say that these journalists are bad folks or that this isn't a worthy story. What I think is really essential is the understanding of the choices that we make as journalists are an articulation of value. The Black and Missing Foundation says 40% of missing adults are people of color. Media coverage is so important because, one, it alerts the community that someone is missing and it can greater the chance of a recovery, but it also adds pressure to law enforcement. In the state of Wyoming, where Petito's body was found, the organization Not Our Native Daughters says more than 700 indigenous people went missing over the last decade. Hopefully, we're in the moment now where we're able to recognize that there is disparities. Columbia University journalism professor June Cross recalls students having trouble getting the green light on a 2016 documentary about missing Afro-Latino women in the Bronx. It was impossible to get coverage. It was impossible to get the police uh, to even think about investigating these cases. We produced a report called Normalizing Injustice and actually talked to writers and producers. They felt like people would turn off the TV if the victim was a black woman. Color of Change's president says it's a wake up call for all to evaluate their own biases, especially members of the media, which in the end can impact voters' decisions about what is needed in communities to keep everyone safe. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.